Hi friends, welcome back or welcome to my channel. My name is Cynthia and I thank you for clicking on this video. As you guys can see, we are at Bath & Body Works. This is the Delta Shore store in Sacramento, California. And today's deals are $10 off of the three wick candles and the body care is buy three get one free. That's not really a deal for us. So uh, the new floor set, spring three floor set, take a trip to paradise. I love the colors, it's colorful, but I'm not going to buy a lot of it and we'll go into that later. We have Black History Month there to the left and then this pineapple display with all these beautiful tropical candles. I really love this display and I love the packaging of those candles. I will let you guys know which ones are my favorite from those um, in, in a little bit here. So we have Fiji Sunshine Guava Teeny. Um, there are the notes as I always tell you guys. I do show you the notes and you guys can always pause if I move too quickly. We have this pink and the pink sunrise or pink pineapple sunrise i'm sorry i'm messing it up i really do like this scent and yeah i will talk about it in another video but i really like everything about it the packaging i think because it's my color i just really love it like the packaging is just about everything to me here we have um the bahamas passion fruit and banana flower this one here um, it is like a fuchsia pink which i love pink almost like any color but the faceted collection i am not thinking of getting it plus i have last year's fragrance mist so as of now maybe i will pick it up at um at sass so you know i won't say i won't pick it up at all but as of now i won't and we have waikiki beach coconut and the minis these minis are so cute they are the cutest little things i love the minis we have this scent copper coconut sands there are your notes this scent says new but it does not smell new to me i cannot pinpoint what it smells like right now but to me it is something that we have we've had before at least to my nose I don't know. You guys tell me as you guys if any of you guys have tested it out, which scent do you guys think it is? But I feel like I've definitely smelt it before. Maybe it's because it has a lot of like same notes like sandalwood and coconut and yeah, I don't know. Saltwater breeze with the new packaging. I really do like the way that smells. I love the packaging of the uh of, of that one the spray the island margarita that was a good packaging i think in my opinion now this one right here 34 dollars 95 i really do like the I, I don't know i'm really loving all things pineapple so i really do like that i was putting that candle in it and yeah i will have a haul for you guys gosh i hope i can do it tomorrow i don't want to promise but if not tomorrow then i hope for sure on um sunday i do work tomorrow so i did want to do actually maybe i won't do the haul tomorrow i work at my store which is a different store than this one right so i will be doing the walkthrough in my store tomorrow and that is why i decided to come to delta shores today we have the flamingo for you guys it does look nice with the pink watermelon candle right there and so yeah yeah, uh, like I was saying, at the end of this video too, I want to share with you guys something that I went in, I went through today that was a little bit personal. So if anybody doesn't want to hear it, definitely after I let you know that we're done with the walkthrough, you can click out into those friends that want to hear what happened today in my day. Um, it was a bit concerning definitely you guys can stick around and hear about that at the end. I was looking for new wallflower plugins here. Uh, that I haven't seen or shown you guys and I did not notice any at all here at this store So hopefully we'll see if tomorrow we can see some new ones at my store and that was the black history Little area that they have with the display There that I surpassed but you guys have seen that one before I'm showing you the new candles over here the tropical collection Just really I personally have told you guys. I really do love that packaging now. We have this strawberry daiquiri one that one i have two i'm thinking i'm gonna go ahead and keep the second one because that might not come back as kimball was saying in her live and um yeah so i think i might keep it for that reason but it is not my favorite my favorite are these two right here tropical island colada and sweet red mango if you guys like high throwers it's going to fill your house like it's at least an eight nine like really high I, I would get those two. At least mine worked really, really well. I love those. This plugin right here, a lot of you guys have loved it as well. I really, really love it. Yes, this is everything for spring and summer. And this one right here in this picture, where is that one? Because I need that one in my life. 
yeah i'll be looking out for that one i hate when they put the pictures up and then the plugins aren't in the store yet it's like where are you i want it now <laughs> that's just me i know not all of you guys are like me but let's move on we're just over here i'm always just on the hunt for the new new that i haven't seen and shown you guys we are here in the pocket back area and i did find this little one i've been seeing this little chick everywhere this pocket back it's six dollars and 95 cents everywhere on ig and i'm finally able to pick one up for myself yeah and we have the pineapple i've shown you guys this little flamingo uh pompon is that what you call that one i really like it i actually really like that one so you guys know if you watch my haul from my previous haul, I have that one. Here's the little heart. That one matches my nails. I don't know why I like to match my nails with the Bath and Body Works things. But anyways, anything pink, that's what I love. Even hot pink, actually. So yeah, so here I came to the front because I didn't show you the soaps that were over here to the right because they were really working on this table as I was walking in. So I didn't want to get in their way. And when I saw that, they like kind of stepped away. See, they're, they're working on it, friends. They're working on it, okay? So over here... I'm noticing that something looks off and I was like, okay, what is it? I'm like stepping back and I'm looking back again and I was like, oh wait, hold on. There's new pocket bags, the passion fruit and banana flower. But okay, so you guys see the guava colada is on the right. Like it was just misplaced. So I, I changed it up for them. I fixed it. Yeah, so, and they didn't have the, the hand soap for the pink pineapple and sunrise. They didn't have it there. So yeah, we're just looking around. The, here we have more of the flamingos and I don't know what I was looking at. I'm pretty sure I was looking at something else and my camera was still on. So yeah, we have mahogany coconut in the foaming. And yeah, I didn't move some of these things around because I know that they were working over here. So I was just gonna let them do their job. I just happy that they allowed me to just record really quick and then I'm gonna get out of their way. So here we have the little minis section and I just keep focusing on this pink pineapple sunrise because I love the packaging, I love the color. Oh, I need a mini sale. Bath and Body Works, give me that mini sale. Look at how cute this is. This will be coming home for, with me. I know you can do like the buy to get one free, but I don't wanna do it that way yet. I want to go ahead and wait on the mini sale because I have a whole bunch of minis anyways. I just want these because they're cute. I really do like that scent though. And here we have, they do have some of the pink pineapple sunrise as you guys can see, uh, hand soap, but they don't, I I think they didn't have enough or maybe they were going through the boxes because that, that other section didn't have any. Either way, friends, this is the end of the video. Here is where if you don't want to hear some of my personal things I went through today, you can go ahead and click out. Thank you so much for watching. I will see those of you in the next one. But to my friends that want to listen, please stay tuned. So today I got a scare because my son, who's 15, he just turned 15 on February 15th, actually. He's a freshman. He was doing a presentation in his AP Geography class where he had to stand in front of class um, to give a presentation on an article. And he did. He finished it. And toward at the end of the presentation, he had to answer questions that other students would have for him. And during that time, he says that he started blacking out where he his eyesight was like going like he just remembers like his eyesight going going like he could see less I can't explain you know exactly I think he can't even really explain it but all of a sudden he says he just couldn't see at all and so like they were asking questions and he's supposed to point at a student and he says that he feels like he pointed but he point but he couldn't see so he pointed towards the teacher and the teacher's like that was weird and since nobody said nothing for a little bit he said he started walking toward his desk but at this point he couldn't see already and he doesn't know how he started walking toward his desk because you know he couldn't see but yet he got to his desk which was i guess right in the front of the class he says and as the teacher noticed that he was you know being a little weird and so she walked she said her gut because I spoke to her she called me later in the day uh, she said her gut instinct told her to like walk toward him so she walked toward him and as she's walking or she's like right behind him he like fainting over his desk and she was able to catch him so she says she caught him she laid him on the floor and they lifted his legs so she he came back to consciousness right away because when you lift their legs, I was told by the nurse practitioner person that saw him today that it allowed the blood flow to go back to his head. That basically what they named that he went through, she told me, was called vasovagal syncope. You guys can kind of look that up. 
um, if you'd like to know a little bit more about it. But basically, she says that it happens a lot to people that are stand lock their knees, are standing at attention for a long time. And I guess maybe during the presentation, that was long enough and he probably locked his knees. And then it doesn't allow the blood flow. This is how I was explaining how I understood it. If I'm explaining it incorrectly, I am not in the medical field. So yeah, that he locked his legs probably and then the, the blood flow didn't go to his brain for a little bit. So at that point, um, he was just about to faint and everything. And he experienced some sweating too, he said, while after like he was coming back to consciousness. And anyway, so that is what happened when school called me and they were explaining what happened. I was so scared, especially when they said that he couldn't see for a little bit. I was so scared, guys, because I know I haven't explained everything that we went through through COVID, but he did go through another condition with his eye. It was his left eye. And he had actually the last day that he did his eye drops that he was supposed to do to fix his eye was yesterday. So I thought it was something related to that. And so I just thought that maybe he was like losing his eyesight. Like it, I was just really, really scared. And so when they called me, I'm not going to cry. Okay, I'm going to stop right here. When they called me, I got so, so scared. I had to call my sister to like pray for me because I need to stay strong as a mom. I can't show up. I felt to school just bawling because you guys know if you really watch me and you're still here, you probably really watch me. I'm a crybaby, so I really, like, you know, prayed about it. My sister said she prayed for me after, and I got to school. I had to take him to urgent care, and everything as of now seems pretty fine. I hope he doesn't experience this again because, well, it was scary for me. I have talked to a couple of other people after, you know, I did post in my stories on Instagram. Some of you guys have contacted me that you've experienced it. So, um, yeah, so I'm not as scared anymore right now. I feel okay. But it was a scary moment for me to get that call from school. And you don't expect that to happen to your kid, you know, like for them to faint. And you don't even know why because you get scared that it could be another like serious issue. But they did do an EKG. Everything was fine. They've done blood work. We will get a call back like Tuesday to see. I'm just going to trust in God that everything is good. And I just wanted to share that with you guys because you guys that are here probably listening to me, you guys are my friends. I love you guys and I thank you. Thank you for always being here with me. I love doing this channel for those and being here because I feel like I've really met great people. I feel like I talk to many of you guys and I just love it. I love what I'm doing here. I love having you guys here and thank you for all the support that you guys give me. And this is it. I just wanted to give you a little bit of what happened today, my friends. I love you guys. And until the next one, my friends, please stay blessed. Bye.